Hi, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with my Her Story walkthrough. If you've been following it so far, I did the first two interviews in order. I'm now up to the third interview where she's wearing the red outfit. No, it's okay. The other detective has just gone to get me back. It's fine to me. As long as it's black and strong, I'm good. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. The blood. It's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mum had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff about when we lived there, about the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile, was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. His body didn't look real. And his throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. He has these thick glasses. It doesn't always work. Thing was wrong. The bags, I, I think they were from our kitchen, you can probably check that. We never go into the cellar, it's just a place we put things we don't need. My dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up, I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. I wasn't in the house. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sam left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. It's 
and I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north, just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. And I... Is there a bin? Yes, I'm fine. I won't be sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. This morning sickness. No. Well, yes. He found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean... I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. It was late, early Saturday morning. Yeah, I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. I think when I drove back it was about eight or something. And I got back to the house about three. Three. When you suspect someone of murdering their husband. Okay. So you want to eliminate me as a suspect? Okay. Sounds weird. I'm mean, not great at making up stories. Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince, and Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. She throws her into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind, but she kills him with her tears and so it's a happy ending. Is that too much? Sorry, sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. 
My brain is just full of it. Now we need to be some colour. Yes, like a story. A beginning, a middle, and an end. Well, she has a knife. Uh, um, she's been cooking, I guess. She's been cooking him his favourite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Did they catch her there? I don't know. Did I pass? Sorry, I messed it up with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. From when I woke up. Okay. I, uh, I woke up, Simon was already up, and he made me birthday breakfast of eggs benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents till later. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake, children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway. Um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left. I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone and then headed back. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here, because I remember well, I went over the river, and then there was a church, there, yeah, and I probably part, well I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street, yeah, there it is, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one, there. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. 
It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has a really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. I didn't. I slept in the car. I left about nine that night. I wasn't there. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. Ask the hospital. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. That should eliminate me as a suspect. If I was in Glasgow, can't be in two places at once. I thought it made me sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just. I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. Now he's... No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier who doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. God, I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone follows him back from the pub. But why would you let them in? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I had to let myself in. The door locks if it swings too. Yes, I always pull it shut and then lock the bigger lock with the key. Um, no, no, I don't think it was. I turned the key but it was already unlocked. No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh, there's a cat flap in the back door. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. It was this little black thing with white dots. We never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. I think so. I mean, to get into our garden, we'd have to climb through other gardens. All the gardens back onto each other, so you'd have to climb over one, two, three gardens to get to ours. I mean, did anyone see anything? Did anyone see anyone come and go? An intruder? When will the police let me back in the house? They let me take a bag of clothes with me, but... The mirror. I can't remember. 
I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. Simon's parents offered to put me up, but I didn't think it would be a good idea. It would be too sad. Not right now. I'm staying at a friend's. And that's the third interview, so stay tuned, I'll have the fourth up as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.